Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm here in the town where my dad lives and since he's moving in a little while, this is probably going to be the last time that I have the opportunity to shoot here. And I thought I'd make some videos to document some parts of a project I've been working on for, yeah, a couple of years, three years maybe, maybe four. I have no idea actually. It's been a while since I last worked on it. I always work on it whenever I'm here and then try to figure out how to proceed with it when I'm back home. So about this little place, I used to live here many years ago when I was just finishing school. I was around 17, 18, 19, something like that while I lived here. So I moved here right after I left my hometown and if you've seen my progress through demolition project you probably know that I'm not too fond of my hometown. So this was still a lot better than back there but it's still you know not exactly the place that I would choose to live in. It's a very suburban place so this is about half an hour out from Dusseldorf and very suburban. People don't actually work in this town, they just commute elsewhere. So it's pretty dead during the day and you mostly see old people and housewives pretty much. And that's not exactly the kind of, you know, place I would choose to live. So I moved out of here as soon as I could and moved to Dusseldorf. In total I think I spent about six years in the area and I still consider Düsseldorf somewhat my home. It has changed a lot so it's it's becoming less so. But this place it was always a random place where I just ended up somehow. And since my dad stayed living here for a while, about 20 years I believe, I spend more time here than I would have preferred I think. So occasionally I was stuck here with my camera, nothing to do. One day I was coming home from Dusseldorf and I was taking pictures on color film and I took a couple of pictures that suddenly made me think that there was something here to photograph. And I kept thinking about that. I kept thinking about these pictures and decided that there had to be something done about this place in some fashion since it is so important to me even though not by choice, in a way. And this is how this project came about. It's called Escape Velocity, as in as fast as possible you want to escape from here, or I want to at least. I'm sure there are people around here who love it here. And my dad also didn't mind, otherwise he wouldn't have stayed here for such a long time. I thought I would combine it with some carnival pictures that I took in Dusseldorf. Personally, I have no connection to carnival. It's not really common where I'm from in the East and it always seemed a rather odd tradition to me. Like this one time in the year where you're just let loose and get drunk and it's quite astounding what people do around carnival here. So it was never my thing. And photographing there was a nightmare pretty much because it was so loud and the music was terrible and people were incredibly drunk and yeah it was it was not a fun project to shoot but I think it was worthwhile at first I didn't really know what to do with the carnival pictures they're just you know carnival pictures once I put them together with the pictures that I took here in the suburban place it all started to make sense somehow and it, it fits very well together so when I lived here, my dad used to live in this concrete building park. It's, a, it's like an apartment complex type thing. And I lived also in an apartment complex on the other side of town. Mine was a lot more run down and the neighbors were very adventurous, I have to say. Junkies and that sort of thing. 
but I was around 17 when I looked for that flat and no one rents a flat to a 17 year old punk with a mohawk so <laughs> that that wasn't gonna happen and I ended up in this really strange apartment complex at the other end of town right at the autobahn the the motorway yeah it was a strange time I have to say <laughs> Right at the end of the street there was a road going over the hill and the bus to Düsseldorf was going that way. I took this bus often and when you reached the top of the hill you would sort of jump in your seat through inertia and I used to have this dream that the bus would take off and somehow end up in orbit. <laughs> Only after I moved to Düsseldorf my dad moved to a nicer place. So he moved into an apartment of, you know, the suburban style house which is nicer if you are into that sort of thing. The only place I enjoy here in this town is this little forest here where I've taken you today. And yeah, I like it here. It's, it's nice. And I've taken a few really nice pictures in this little stretch of forest, so I don't really mind that part. But I, I do mind the rest of the suburbanness, if that's a word. It probably is suburbanness. Must be. If not, it is now. Now, I've already made a dummy of this project, a dummy book, and I'm quite pleased with it. I, I might change the order of one or two pictures still, and I still need a text and stuff like that. But I also found the other day a couple more interesting pictures that I would like to take. But for that, I actually have to get the film that I was using when I was shooting the project. And yeah, it's still on its way. I'm gonna take you along once the film arrives and then you're gonna see what I'm talking about because these two pictures, I think they're gonna add a bit more even. <laughs> so yeah, I have to go back there, which is a, you know, it's a challenge. It's at the other end of town and it's so hot these days. It's ridiculous. It's been 33 degrees like for several days and yeah, blisteringly hot. That's why I'm out here early in the morning and it's already getting way too hot especially now that the sun has shifted and is now shining right on me so this is kind of the end of an era i won't have any reason to come back here after i'm leaving now because my dad's not gonna live here anymore and unless you live here there's no reason to come here it's just what it is Siren? this is the problem by the way there's no place in this town where you don't hear the autobahn. It's just so loud everywhere here. Planes are flying above, autobahn on two sides, I believe. And yeah, it's not quiet, even though it's very suburban. And then of course there are all the lawnmowers. Let's not forget the lawnmowers. So this is the project I'm working on these days since this is the last opportunity I have for that. And it's not, not the easiest project, I would say, but it is interesting to me, at least. It says a lot about German identity, I suppose. And since I'm only half German, I have always looked on 
certain traditions like carnival as something very strange and foreign to me so it's about time that i get out of the sun now though because it's getting rather hot now maybe i walk a bit more and film some more stuff for you guys
Hi guys, I have now officially finished my project, or at least the shooting part. I shot another two rolls, one of it here in town and the other one in Düsseldorf, which uh, is also related to the project, uh, since I shot the carnival pictures there and lots of people from here obviously have a lot of social life in Düsseldorf because it's so close by and so it plays a major role. I'm very happy with the outcome, I think. I mean, I haven't seen the pictures yet, but I, I kind of know what I'm getting and I think there are a couple that are really cool. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm generally happy to have finished the project. It's been dragging on and on and on, you know? It, it was the kind of project that takes forever and ever. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy, which I have now said like three times already and I might say it one more time or two more times, who knows? because I'm super, super glad that I don't really have to come back here if I don't want to. And yeah, I think the only place where I might come back to is this little wood, which is very nice. And yes, I'm done, which is super cool. Yay. So I got all the pictures that I wanted and probably some more even. I'd also tried to take some pictures at the local city festival, but I don't think that worked out quite so well. I don't think it was very photogenic, but I'm gonna see it after I have developed the role, so I have to wait a bit for that. And yeah, I'm done. So super happy about that. So this was the project and making this little video was really interesting for me too because I was trying to go back to all the places and you know give you some video of the places where I took pictures and so on and so forth. So you saw a little bit of this little town. I don't know whether that was interesting to you. I thought the project is very interesting. Do let me know what you think of it and yes I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already and yeah i hope to see you soon for another video bye and now i gotta run because the train is already there i can see it already and yes there there's a train station right here at the woods which is practical but yes i gotta run so bye jesus so many flies. The birds are mocking me.